Hello guys and welcome to your full guide to Sorbstat. This is the series of videos where I will show you everything there is to know about Sorbstat. I will show you every feature and how to use it. In previous videos I have shown you website. In previous videos I have shown you how to work with domain analysis and how to create projects. This video will be about URL analysis. So let's jump in. To analyze URLs you have to paste the link to your URL into the Sorbstat search bar and click search. First thing you'll see is the overview report. It shows if the page is used to target any keywords in PPC campaigns and if it does you'll see a list of those keywords and it shows you the keyword position distribution for the page or in other words how many keywords it ranks for at a certain position in Google. Then we have the list of competitors in organic search, the list of missing keywords and ads examples. But that is if the page is used to run any ads. I will show you this list in details as we go down by the menu. So this is how the overview for the URL looks like. Now let's move on to the menu on the left and see what reports we have here for this page. Let's start with the keywords report. In this report you will see all of the keywords for each page ranks, at what position, what is the search volume of those keywords, the cost per click in uh, Google AdWords, competition in Google AdWords, number of results found by Google and the link to the URL itself. Also at the top here you can see how many keywords this same page ranks for in other regions of Google. For example it ranks for 99 keywords in Google Germany. And the list of keywords here is the same as you get in domain analysis. You can use filters to find just the keywords you're looking for. You can sort them by search volume, the position for a keyword of a page, number of results filed in Google, cost per click, competition and words, and anything else. You can find out more about filters in the previous video. As usual, you can export this report as any other report. Next item on our menu is the competitors tab. Competitors tab here is a very important thing because we show you competitors for this certain page and not for a website as a whole. If you analyze BHP photo video, you will see different competitors than you see here. This is the list of competitors for bhpphotovideo.com as a website as a whole. You can see you have Adorama, New Egg, DP Review, Best Buy, Staples, PC Mac, and so on and so forth. And uh, let's take a look at this list. We have Wikipedia, we have Tom's Hardware, we have HowToGeek, we have Console.com, we have YouTube.com. We have different lists of competitors here because we have a page that is dedicated to boosting computer processors. And all of these pages are dedicated to the same subject. Therefore, these are the competitors for the page you are analyzing. This is the most efficient way to find competitors for your website. By analyzing category pages separately, you will find different lists of competitors. Those competitors will be closer to you because they compete with certain pages on your website. And pages is what you want to rank with. Now let's move on to the next item on our menu. It's URL versus URL. It's pretty much the same as domain versus domain. You can choose which URLs to compare and get some data for them. I'm going to use this page and this page and see what we get. So this is how URL comparison looks like. The size of circles is defined by the number of keywords for which a page ranks. And as we can see the URL number one, our URL is the biggest one here. You can find what keywords it has in common with both of these URLs. You can find what keywords in common they all three have. But again, the most important part here are the keywords that these two URLs have in common that this URL doesn't have. So that would be URL number two and URL number three common keywords and unique keywords. There are 69 keywords that these two URLs have in common that were not found in the semantics of our URL. So here are the keywords. Again, you can export them. Uh, this is the most important information you can find in this report. But if you are interested in any other bit of information, such as common keywords that all three pages have together, you can go ahead and export that data as well. Now let's move on to the last item on our menu, the most important one. It's called missing keywords and it provides a list of missing keywords from your URL. Let me explain how it works. We take all of the keywords for which this URL ranks, those 600 keywords, and we analyze every keyword on that list. We check what other pages rank for those keywords, then we check those pages' semantics and compare the semantics of the pages to see some intersections. And if 50 of your competitors rank for a certain keyword and you don't rank for that keyword, we will show you that you have this keyword in your missing keywords list. So basically, these keywords here are the keywords for which your competitors rank, but your page doesn't rank for them. You have some basic information here such as search volume, cost per click and competition in AdWords. But the most important part here is the other URLs contained part. It shows you if any other URL of your website ranks for this keyword. In most cases for this URL we can see that none other pages on BHP photo video rank for any of these keywords in top 100 results of Google. But we can see that this page ranks for this keyword on 65th position and this page ranks for this keyword on 74th position. 
This is very important to know because you don't want to compete against your own pages. For example, we see here that this page ranks on 34th position for this keyword, which means it is easier to optimize this page for this keyword than it is this one. So these are the keywords that your competitors use, that your page is somewhat relevant to, and these are the keywords that will be easier to optimize for. So make sure to check out the missing keywords report. If your page doesn't rank for enough keywords, you will not see any results here. So don't be disappointed. It doesn't mean the service is broken. It just means that we couldn't find any keywords that your competitors rank for with enough intersections. So this feature works best with pages that rank for high number of keywords. So that's it for this video. If you want to analyze your URLs, now you know how to do that. In the next one, I'm going to tell you about keyword research, so don't miss it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.